Welcome back, explorers. We're back at Disney's Animal Kingdom of Walt Disney World, collecting our Wilderness Explorer badges. Today, our goals are set on the Flamingo Badge. So grab your Wilderness Explorer's handbook if you've got one already. And if not, not to worry. We'll have a little fun challenge for you to do at home. Here we go. <laughs> so we're going to be talking about kind of flamingos and birds in general. Do all birds have the same beak? No. No, they don't exactly. So why might they have different beaks? Different, like, if they need to maybe different type of bright light. Yeah. Types of foods. Yeah, exactly right. Different habitats as well. So it's really cool. I have a flamingo beak. Their beak is very unique to them. They're actually filter feeders. So they're actually going to feed almost in like an, a J shape. They're going to feed upside down. They're going to take in shrimp and algae. They're going to swallow what they want and then that water is going to drain out the bottom almost like a spaghetti strainer, which is pretty cool as well. Now if we look out here, you might see our ibis right over there. And there's one right here as well. So their beaks are gonna look more like little chopsticks. So where do you think they're gonna live mostly? Uh, in trees? Not necessarily in trees. They kind of hang out, they're actually native here to Florida. So they're gonna be near water, um, usually in sort of a sandy, marshier area. Ah, because cool. they go down in yeah. Yeah, those little chopsticks are going to kind of drill little holes, be able to pick out crustaceans, anything they might eat as well. But what's really cool about them is they actually kind of pick up on what the flamingos are doing and kind of model their behavior. Yeah, so it's kind of how like natural adaptation, um, birds that kind of group together, they might act kind of similarly just watching each other's behaviors, which is really cool. And then all the way back here, I don't think we can see them right now. Maybe oh, is it that, that? Yeah, so those are going to be white storks. Um, those are actually two males, so you'll notice their beaks are different as well. And we also have two lapid faced vultures. So we can't see them right now, but you might be able to see on that sign. What do you think their beak might look like? A little bit short, like shorter. Yeah, what do they eat? So what's really cool about their beak is it's actually going to be kind of short, like you said, with a hook at the end, and that's going to be modeled for what they eat, which is pretty cool. Like our, like our incisor teeth. Right? Yeah, exactly. So what's really cool about the vulture, they're actually extremely endangered in Africa. We see vultures all the time on the side of the road, but these lapid faced vultures are actually endangered because what do they eat again? Meats. Meats, yeah. So in Africa, a lot of the poachers use poison traps to kind of grab the animals they're trying to poach. So those animals will pass from the poison, and then what do the vultures eat? Yeah, so they're getting endangered because they're actually dying from a lot of the poachers. Even though they specifically aren't getting poached, the circle of life is taking him. So what's really cool about them is there's actually a lot of organizations that are trying to help that stop, kind of the poaching aspects in different ways of that sort of thing. So if you're passionate about a certain animal, research different organizations and see maybe how you can help them. Or just go in your backyard and bird watch and see maybe what their beaks look like. Because I bet they're probably a little bit different than the flamingo. That's very true. Yeah, flamingos are very unique. Unique. And even different types of flamingos have different color beaks. The greater, so these are the lesser found in Africa. The greater flamingos, if you go on the safari, they actually have a half pink, half black um, beak. Whereas these have all black. Yeah, even though they live on the same continent. Yep, my favorite is the Caribbean flamingo. They're like a coral salmon so color. Pretty, Large. Oh, they're beautiful. So pretty. Yeah. So well, awesome. Well, have a great rest well, of your day. Thank you so much. You're Sam. welcome. Appreciate it. Yeah, and no have problem. a great one yourself. Thank you. In the handbook, it mentions flamingos are very similar in appearance, especially if they're in a very large group. There are two ways that they can always find out which flamingo is which. Number one, using a camera trap, a camera that is set up to take pictures when humans are gone. The other is through tags. Each flamingo is given a tag and each tag has a very specific number. Together, through the tags and the pictures, they can keep track of which flamingo goes where and which flamingo does what. Our challenge to you, for those at home, is to set up your own camera trap. It can be serious, it can be epic, it can be simple. We would love to see what pictures you capture in your camera trap. Maybe you'll get an animal. Maybe you'll get a human. We'd love to see what pictures you capture in your camera trap. Feel free to share them with us using the hashtag TPE 
Wilderness Explorer. And we'll see you in the next adventure.